Yep. Hey, it's Aaron from GameBoothers.com, and this is Flockers for the Xbox One. Uh, I don't know why I'm showing you the out of play section. It won't mean anything until it's really put into practice, but this is it. So apparently there's a facility putting knitted hats and capes onto sheep. As well as dynamite. Some other things. The sheep, needless to say, aren't, aren't too thrilled about uh, what's going on. And I think they want to get out of there. So if you um, were familiar with games that are popular 20 years ago, uh, the 90s, um, you immediately recognize that this game has clearly been influenced by the Lemmings series, which is very popular in the 90s, in which you had to guide Lemmings from point A to point B. You would do so. The Lemmings would have different abilities. If you look at the bottom of the screen, uh, you have, I guess, turning a sheep into a, back into a regular sheep. You have jumping sheep, flying sheep, exploding sheep, and then you have, I guess, block formations so that the sheep can form. So, the game wears its influence on the sleeve. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Everything has been influenced by something else. Um, little... There's some key differences between the two games, but... Uh, the game does a good job of um, bringing you into the levels and keeping things very basic. If you look in the lower left, you'll see that you only need one sheet to get to the end of the level. So they take it easy on you at the beginning of the game. And you need to equip the sheep with the different abilities uh, in good time. So I, I equip them with the jumping ability. Now I'm going to equip them with the ability to fly. That's what the red cape symbolizes. One issue I did have with the game was just, just movement. Uh, one anal the left analog, I believe, controls the cursor, and the right analog controls where the camera is. So you can just zoom. You, know, you can just move around, pan around uh, the entire screen. I, it, it might be an issue with my coordination, or lack thereof, but I just could never seem to get it just right. And the trigger buttons would zoom in and out. So as you see, the sheep are still making their way towards the end of the level. Uh, it's a little bloodier than I remember the lemmings being, as you just saw. Yeah. That's a little flop, get it? So it tallies up your, your score, uh, those, lead, those leaderboards, um, your friends, and then um, I guess a uh, much larger larger area, depending on how many friends you have, I don't know. So the game does a really good job at the beginning of showing you exactly what you're supposed to do. The signs posted, they show you where to put the blocks for them to jump up so they can all reach higher levels. They make it fairly easy for you. For the initial levels. Let me stress that. The initial levels are pretty, pretty easy. And they form various formations. The one block, two, two diagonal, and then it just makes stairs out of them, basically. And if you use the D-pad, if you move the left on the D-pad, you can pause the game and still actually place items places and, and into the environment and then the right as you see makes it speed up and there's some physics based stuff too like you just saw there's a meter on that um that large block that they're on and once there's enough sheep on it then it, it's heavy enough to lower and then they they get to the end now i needed one to get to the end but i got 44. pat myself in the back not for very long Uh, timing is also important. Like, there's a lot of once the game stops telling you exactly what to do, you're gonna have to a lot of trial and error. You're gonna have to place things and place formations so you stop the sheep from moving. Very similar to Lemmings. 
Um, as you saw, the sheep that explode, that fly. It, 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 it is definitely a a newer style of, of Lemmings game where they'll, they'll just walk off a cliff and, and die. They don't. They think nothing of it. Um, you have to sacrifice some. You won't be you won't become too attached. Uh, and as you get into it, because many of them are just going to die. And the signs are very helpful to give you an idea of the kind of things you need to be looking out for. And if you look in that buzz saw uh, on the right side, the left side, but the right side, there's a golden sheep in the cage in that one. If you get those, if you collect those sheep, you unlock uh, special bonus levels. I like what this game is trying to do. The issue I have, it it is fun. I was a fan of the Lemmings back in the day. I enjoyed it. I like that they tried to, you know, put their own twist on it. I've not played the PC version of this game, or I can say that the console version, at least the Xbox One version, it is very difficult to control this game. You. It, you have the, the coordination issue, which it might be my own issue, of just trying to get around. Remember, remembering if I move the cursor or if I'm moving the whole screen, either zooming in and out. It, there's a lot of levels that I, I just know I'm never going to actually see. It's, it, it's too difficult to control. And there's a lot of levels where you have to do these really quick movements. And you, using a controller, just it's almost impossible to really get it done and it, it's it's a shame but there are a few surprises here and there in the game but it's fun just it's hard to control <laughs> 